Hey guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. All my ball testing, I realized there's one ball that I haven't tested yet that's one of the top balls out there. Do you know what that might be? Bridgestone. I'll test the Bridgestone E6. Later, I will test the Bridgestone E12. Let's see how this ball performs. Check it out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in. With. Gotta hit more greens. My game. All right, guys, this hole is 356 from the black. Dog leg right. There's a little creek down there just close enough to make you think about it. Go with a driver, have to make sure I carry that creek. Okay guys, we cut it a little bit, but it came back left side of the fairway. We should have a good approach in, some kind of wedge, probably a 48 degree wedge. All right guys, so we got 114 to the center, but this hole generally plays kind of firm. So I'm gonna hit a 48 degree wedge and we really don't even wanna land it to the center of the green. I think it's gonna be a little firm. So we'll hit the 48 degree wedge, pins in the back, probably about 120 to the pin. Okay guys, I think we landed it on the front and it rolled to the center. Let's get up there and see if we can make a putt. Maybe a half a club short, maybe a full club short. Looks like we got about 25 feet here. You know, we obviously don't know how far this ball flies yet. Pretty decent shot though. Let's see if I can make the putt. All right guys, it's a solid four on the first hole with the uh, Bridgestone E6. The ball performed pretty average. Both shots flew relatively straight. Let's go play another hole and see how this ball stacks up. It's 152 to the front, 166 to the pin. So I hit a seven iron, try to fly it somewhere near the front edge of the green. Hopefully it bounces up. All right guys, that ball looked like it landed fairly soft. Maybe they watered last night. I don't know. All right guys, I'm not gonna have any blame on the ball in that shot. It did feel like I, I hit that a little heavy and it definitely didn't run out. Looks like it landed just a few feet short of the green. Maybe roll 10 feet. Get up here and see if we can get a putt closer. Maybe sneak one in. All right guys, so we're gonna play this hole from 310, 310, and I switch it up a little bit. Recently did a video on the high wood, and uh, switch it up a little bit, I'm gonna hit the high wood off of this tee box. Looks like the pin's deep, so it's about, it was probably about 325 to the back. 326 to the back. Not a very good swing there, but let's go finish up the hole. All right guys, from 50 yards, the Bridgestone had an astoundingly high 39 degree launch paired with an astoundingly low 4,025 RPMs of spin. So this ball flew high, came down pretty steep, but that spin number is just way too low here. With the seven iron, the spin was also low, which caused this ball to carry one yard further than a Pro V1, of course, with a lot less stopping power. And with the driver, this ball had four miles per hour less ball speed, but again, an obscenely low spin number compared to the Pro V1. With a less sharp descent, the driver numbers are pretty good with the Bridgestone E6. All right guys, there's a ball that I tested back in July that performed very similar to this Bridgestone E6. Check that out, click the video above. If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Shore Hitter, out. Now, hooks and big fades, it's not my day now Why did I play now? Just clear my head, get back in this An outside shot, you still can win this